What it is, you too? The boy Trucker Rob coming here. Coming to you live. Well, not live, but you know, coming to you. One of them days, man. It's like, shit. It's raining so, it was raining so goddamn hard when I first got my damn um, truck. First of all, when I got to the yard, I had to switch trucks. I had to switch trucks because I'm um, trying to get some light for y'all. I had a damn, that's even worse. I guess shit got me looking down cross eyes and shit. But yeah, I had to switch truck. When I got to the yard, I had to switch trucks. And being that I did all, I had to do all that. You know, and it was pouring rain in my nigga. I don't know what happened. It's like, it was drizzling a little bit. You know what I'm saying? When I went to the yard, and I said, oh, this is whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I ain't sweat that shit. I said, whatever, shit. I don't mind to get a little wet. They ain't gonna kill me now. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, as soon as I say that to myself, I mean, it was pouring rain. I mean, y'all can't see it now. My shirt done pretty much dry. You would have thought I jumped in the pool. You know what I'm saying? You would have thought I jumped in the pool. My shirt was so wet. My shirt was so wet. My paperwork got wet. My damn, then I got on some damn flip flops. You know, got my Nike flip flops on. You know what I'm saying? Got my Nike flip flops on. And some socks. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I felt like I was walking in water. I felt like I basically jumped in the pool. Then I ain't no, I ain't the no damn. You know, pre truck my truck and my trailer. And shit. You know, uh, between me doing all that, I had to switch trucks, tri switch tracks yet again, and yet again, yet again, yet again. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna get some. Everything got some. I mean, everything got some. You know what I'm saying? I keep saying I gotta get me like a, a, a raincoat or whatever, but shit, I keep getting it. I ain't gonna lie. I keep getting it. Goddamn. When I get home, I gotta take me some medicine. My neck, my damn, I'm already coughing up there. You know, cold on that. Damn. I'm already sleeping. Well, not coughing up cold, but you know, I'm coughing a couple of times. And I sneeze a couple of times. And I feel a little bit of cold trying to come in my throat already. Oh my like, God. Damn. You know, even though I got the heat on kind of low in my truck, but I don't really, you know, I'm a sweater. You know, so I'm a sweater. I ain't gonna lie. Because I'm a big dude. I don't know. You know. I weigh like 242 pounds, but still, I'm a big dude, you know, I used to weigh a thing over 300. But anyway, I had the damn, because I'm a sweater, I had the heat on kind of low, it still was kind of cold, so I went to fuel up, I got me a coffee, been sipping on that shit, it made me feel a little better, but I'm still a little chilly or whatever, but god damn. But now, as y'all can see, I'm waiting on this damn truck. I'm about to get out this motherfucker in a minute and see what time his appointment time is. But at the same time, my appointment time is at midnight. You feel me? At midnight. And as y'all can see, I still got a good bit of time on my clock. You know, it take four and a half hours to get back to Savannah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm on my mandatory break right now. You know, so when I get on, when I get on the net, my, my, my clock briefly stops for like I think about two hours. But at the same time, this floor in the core, they 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 got their sporadic moments. One minute they want to unload you in about 35 minutes, next minute they try to unload you in about two and a half hours. You know what I'm saying? That should be blowing the fuck out of me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm trying to make sure they unload me kind of quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get back to the seaport. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, I got totally soaked. I mean, soaked. So I went and got my uh, old Nike boots that was in my other tractor that I was switching out. This is one of the um, But as soon as I got these shit, that's when the rain kind of slowed down a little bit. So I just jumped in my truck after I did my pre trip of my tractor, my trailer, did my little tug test and all. And the rain basically slowed down. So I just jumped back in the truck and kept on riding. But then when I was riding, Started pouring again. I said, God damn. God damn. Oh, yeah. It never be too late. I ain't gonna lie. The day I was lazy as a motherfucker. I was lazy as a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I did my pre trip and all. But you know what I didn't do? I didn't go. I didn't get weighed. And so you know what that means. 
Went to the scale house. I mean, went to the way station. Soon as she pulled me in, I said, God damn, I know I'm overweight. I know I'm overweight. I was overweight on a thousand pounds. God damn. I was too blow, boy. I was too blow. I mean, too blow. I said, God damn. And with this company, I mean, I can't get too mad because they told us from day one. They was like, we give you all the tools, the slide the tandems and all. We paying for your weight tickets. Get weighed every day. We paying for that. If you get over, if you if you're too heavy, bring it back to the yard, drop it. We're still gonna pay you a percentage of the load anyway. I'm so thirsty for money and lazy at the same time. I ain't wanna get weighed, so it fucked me up the ass. You know what I'm saying? I mean, no offense to nobody, and I ain't trying to talk no freaky shit. <laughs> it's just a matter of speaking. You know what I'm saying? And oh uh, god damn. Now I got a hundred dollar damn ticket, I got the goddamn pay. <sighs> damn. It's one of them companies they make you pay that damn shit. Cause they saying they told you from day one, told you an orientation. Look, we give you all the tools. You got the slide tandems, you know, we, we got you know, we pay. I don't care if you got to go over the scale ten times. Go over the scale, make sure your weight right, make sure you're legal. Ride out because of you, because you, because of you too heavy. As they say, if you're too heavy, bring it back to the DC and just drop the trailer. Tell your DM, tell your DM, look, your DM dispatch, whatever, what time, whatever time of that day it is. I'm too heavy, I can't run it. Get a copy of your, your, your scale ticket, put it in the box, and you're still gonna pay the percentage. I was lazy as a motherfucker trying to get this money. And I ain't up damn we got to spend money. God damn. You know what I'm saying? So but it is what it is. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. You know what I'm saying? Last time though, I got a ticket. It wasn't, I mean, it really wasn't my fault. That I mean that because I was legal weight-wise, but the man, the man I had an asshole DOT officer went lie me, let me slide my tandems a little like another, like a couple of holes. So I, you know, the weight could be distributed evenly. And I won't get the damn ticket. He still was an asshole to me. Well, you can slide the tandems, but you still gonna get a ticket. Why you gotta be like that, bro? It would have took them two minutes to let me got them slide my tandems right quick, two by two, by two pins, so I could be loaded, so I get um, I'm illegal, so I could put some more weight on my drives than my tandems. He just wanted to be an asshole. Now this time, in that day, I did go over the scales. You know what I mean? I did go and get weighed like I like I supposed to everything. But for some reason, you know, I guess riding up and down the, the hills and shit, maybe my load slid a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what happened because when I left the, the weight station, I was legal. But when I got to the weight station, they took my hours overweight, like, like, a hundred pounds on my tandem, like two hundred pounds on my tandem. So I'm like, the fuck. But um, this time I I just didn't go to the scare house at all. I ain't gonna lie. Normally I do weigh myself, but I was running slightly late. And I'll try to get this money. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't a spinner got the money. God damn. But it is what it is. A lesson learned. You know what I'm saying? So I couldn't get too mad at them. Well, too mad at my company. They told us that since orientation. You, you got all the tools. Yada, 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 yada. I didn't say that. But yeah, um. So. But yeah. I'm just sitting here. Kind of chill as a mother. Let me tell you, this heat up a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm still a little goddamn cool, man. I guess because my whole, I'm basically soaked. You know what I'm saying? I'm basically, I was, I ain't gonna lie, I'm smelling a little, um, what you call it, rank and all kind of shit. This shit killing me, bro. I don't do well with odors. That's why I take me a shower every day. You know what I'm saying? I don't do well with odors. I ain't gonna lie, I smell a little rank. You know what I'm saying? I am, I'm, I'm basically damp from head to toe. My socks wet, my pants wet, my shirt wet, my hair just dried off. My hair, my, my hair just kind of dried off now. Yeah, um, goddamn, I don't like it. I don't like how I'm sitting. Me, my, my ass look like I'm cross-eyed or some shit. But <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. But I'm just sitting here, you know, about to get out this damn truck to see what time this motherfucker damn thing is, because it's 11 o'clock, he ain't even moving. So, um... I'm gonna holler at y'all.